And a good day, all of you. John Henderson, Pierre, the Beverage Ramble, back again with you. Another Beverage Ramble edition. Today, we're looking at Deauville, Belgian Strong Blonde. This is a Belgian Strong Blonde Ale style. 8.5% ABV. Uh, come with a can opener, Mr. Pierre. Come with a can opener. Hmm. I'm out here in this park right now. Beautiful day, nice, kind of chilly, but nice right now. So, um, world class score and beer advocate. Also, uh, rate beer scores it high, as is on tap uh, 95 score. Uh, beer advocate gives it so. Uh, so, this other day, um, at uh, Buford at the Buford uh, Farmers Market, which is a big store here in the um, here where I live at, not far from, from me. Um, but it's also become um, kind of very, uh, very multicultural, maybe multi-ethnic store. You, you know, ranges for the, the squirrels in the background. Got some airplanes, and here's some shooting. But I'm here at this park right now, so um, it's a nice little area. It's a nice little store, very multi-ethnic. You know, catering to what this area is. You know, very diverse, uh, diverse part of as most of Atlanta is very diverse. Um, Japanese, uh, Asian, I mean, Asian influences, Hispanic, many from the Caribbean. So, it's a very popular supermarket. Um, a lot of fresh fruits and vegetables, and they have a lot of great meats and different, um, different sort of items that I can very rarely, rarely find and say at, at going to a Walmart or a Ingles supermarket or any place like that. Um, and they have an interesting selection of beverages, of wine and beer. So. Saw this there and I picked it up. It was two forty nine for the bottle. So early in May this year, I did the Belgian single fermented uh, ale, golden ale, which I did, and uh, that was six point eight percent. So gave it a higher high score. And guessing that beer was going to be around a little bit longer, um, but so far since I've been up here, since I moved left Mobile, moved up here to Georgia, I haven't been able to find it. In any of the stores, I was willing one to try it again, but I guess here today, gone tomorrow. So, um, so I found the singles. Thankfully, uh, this beer is not cheap. If you want to get it in a four pack, I think we're paying at least about sixteen, seventeen dollars for four pack of this. So I will say best to get the singles. If you find it, you're lucky. Has a very nice scent, nice sort of a, a what it was. I'm guessing what beer was made back then, but very strong, very honey, very scent of uh, floral you know, scent. I'm getting into this. Hmm. This is quite, quite nice. Mm. So, what the monks or trappers used to make back in the day, I'm guessing. So, let's have at it. Oh, yeah. It reminds me of planes going through. So hey, improvise, roll with the roll with the punches, right? When you're doing a video, you know. I guess they're working on the house, so that's because you hear the nail gun. Maybe someone shooting, shooting somebody. Someone shooting someone with a nail gun. <laughs> Deadly, deadly. Um, nice little strong hot presence in this, but it has a nice balance of nice sweetness to this. Mm. Almost a little bit of like uh, one of the German, Belgian strong German. Um, Type style lagers, you know? 
it's, it's getting a really nice feel to this. I'm really liking this. Ooh. I ain't gonna compare this to a Heineken or a Pilsner or Kell. Those are more Pilsners, but it kind of has some of that same flavor. But it's a little bit tad sweeter, too. Don't, don't mind the head, obviously a lot of head in this, so unfortunately I just sat there kind of go with what I have in front of me. Mm. So I'm guessing that the brewery, the brewery has been around longer, uh, established 1871. As one of these, I guess, foreign beers made its way over here and has trip, you know, overseas to this part of the country back in 20, I'm sure, back in uh, in the early 1900s, I'm sure. Uh, but nice, fragrant, very good, nice balance. You know, I can imagine I would love to go overseas and try beers like this. But beers like this, you can't consume every single day, folks. I mean, it's 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 it, these are these are specialty beers, you know. These are rarity beers, you know. And knowing as what our tastes are here in America, here in the U.S., we we'll love we love to get our hands on these. But every, but if for just for everyday consumption, just to be, just to have on standby in the refrigerator, you know, this would not be one of these beers because of the cost. So, would I buy it again? Yes, definitely. It's a specialty beer, you know. Definitely eat this with a I can eat this with something, you know. Most of this is popular, but I mean, Belgian cuisine, I know they use a lot of cheese and sausage. Nice firm you know, meats, you know. you know. I would I would say that would be great. But I don't think I could uh I don't think I could ever, you know, but you know. Meat, some some seafood. I don't know, maybe, but something more strong. Heavy meats could go go with this, you know, like a um, sort of wild game type type meats would kind of go good with this beer. Um, just the strength of it. Eight point five percent. Ooh man, you know, you know these folks overseas. They love their hard beers that are really strong. You know, we we do too. Some of us, you know, but we're we're a light we're a light beer type of world we're living right now, and, um, and I'm not fond of I I, like, I do have will have light beer from time to time, but I'm not big fond not big big into it like most. Give me your every standard regular beer, an amber ale, you know, give me a pilsner or a Hellas Doppelbach or a malt liquor, mmm, yeah, <laughs> but. But if beers like this were available every single day for the, at, at the price one day, say for a natural ice, a Bud Ice, or a Budweiser, or whatever, I'd definitely be buying this every single day. I mean, no ifs, ands about it. But you gotta do work with what you got. So, fabulous beer, really into it. I'm gonna go same score, nine point five for the Dualville Belgian Strong Blonde. Check it out, really good, and. Um, I say it's a winner, don't you? Planes. Uh, join us up here at the Beverage Ramble Team. Keep on watching as always. Cheers. Live, laugh, and love. Duville. Duville. Du